Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as United States of America. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we're destroying the Confederates. Fantastic. Um, you know, they they actually started the war. They fought us, even though we had a bigger army. We had almost all of South America allied to us, so I don't really know what they were thinking, to be completely honest. But, you know, we're gonna win. This battle is not really going in our favor, but that's fine. We have a 9 stack here. You guys just go to, like, Nebraska. Sure. Why not? Where else are we going to go, honestly? Also, don't have this big army here for no reason. And taking a stupid amount of attrition. By the way, uh, Confederates, you want to just, like, surrender? No, they don't. They have already have 100% reward exhaustion, so... There's really not too much I could do there. God, this, this, this one siege is actually winning. Painstakingly slow? Yeah, so you guys go to Louisville. You go to here. You guys are going to Hot Springs. We've gained humility. Wait, Hudson Bay Company. But they're... We can't declare war on the Hudson Bay Company. Yeah, so we have a CB that we couldn't actually even use. So, that's good. But also, we're back in 8th place, fantastic. Uh, we have 234 points, we're definitely going to kick Spain out. Especially after we win this war. Uh, there's probably actually going to be an event too, like, oh, you beat the Confederates, you unite in America, plus like 30 prestige or something, and that'll be, you know, definitely really good for us. But kind of just have troops everywhere, and that's... Okay, we're going to go up to Oklahoma, but like, really guys... I really don't want to see, I don't want to have to see down the entirety of, you know, everything. I feel like that might be honestly a bit much. The Moral Crusaders? Yeah, sure, why not? Go down to Bouton Rouge, you guys go to Lake Charles. Florida should be sieged down relatively soon. I don't know where you guys, I guess you guys just go to Nebraska as well. Albuquerque, Santa Fe. Conf like, Confederates, please. And they're also in the German sphere, and they're allies, are they still allied to the French? They're not, but Germany can't even help them because of, they, they attacked us. So there's really nothing they can even do. You guys go to Oklahoma City then. The upper house has been arranged, fantastic. Apparently we've also, we can't even re reinforce all of our troops, but you know, that's fine. Oh, look, look, it's a good thing Peru's decided to show up now, after the war is basically already won. But after, um... After this is done, we're gonna probably be able to train, you know, like a hundred brigades or something, and that's gonna be fantastic. Okay, you guys go down there, except for you, I want you to kinda go up, somewhat up north. The Anaconda plan! War exhaustion goes up. Oh no, that's just for, um, the Confederates. Okay, sure. You guys do that then. Even though, once again, they already have, like, maximum war exhaustion. Like, it can't get worse for them. Oh yeah, I guess Missouri is entirely occupied, huh? Actually, how many points do they have for occupying it? They have 4.2% war score from occupying, like, all of Missouri. Probably should have thought about that, huh? And they can probably demobilize pretty, pretty soon. We got some troops from El Salvador as well. So you guys go here. You guys go... Somewhere. I guess you guys go there. It's sometimes hard to know exactly where your troops should go. There we go. And next the Confederates. Demobilize the army. We can also build up the 65 brigades now, so that's fantastic. I have to completely sort this out, though. So yeah, you guys go there. We have 28 stack. You guys go there. 26, you go there. Actually, no, you guys, you go here. You go there. Assuming that the, the supply limit's not too bad, and it looks like like it is pretty much. Eh, no, it's 25. Apparently, they're completely okay there. You guys rally with these infantry. Actually, you guys go back to New York, because I want you to, uh... We're gonna need to retrain some more troops. And in Cleveland, no rally points, but fantastic, we've won that war. 
one year draft. Well, so what's the difference? Immigration attraction goes up. And halves the mobilization size. And we don't get the experience. So really we're just getting... 1% immigration attraction. And when we're already, you know, attracting... Hundreds or thousands a month, it's, it's pretty fine. Radical reconstruction. Lose 10 war exhaustion. Dixie's removed. I mean, we already didn't have them accepted. Yeah, sure. We'll do some radical reconstruction. Hopefully they didn't, like, screw us over or anything like that. But... We don't accept Dixie. We don't accept Texans. Apparently we just... Texas didn't even rebel against us, and we we just like, eh, fuck the Texans. They they allied with us the entire time, but apparently that wasn't good enough for us. So we've just made Texas more of a hellhole than it already was. Which isn't to say that it was a hellhole before. But, you know, in this timeline, it did kind of get screwed over a little bit. But there we go, our... Immigration tracking. Even when we were at war, we were still getting like 3,000 a month. So, you know, that's pretty, pretty good. So apparently, the uh, Italy's fighting Austria. That's, that's fine. What else is going on? Turkey's fighting Tunis, but of course, I don't think Turkey can even get there. The Dutch are fighting this guy, which I'm pretty sure is in um, Indonesia. Oh, the Franco-Prussian War is happening. Okay. And, uh, who's winning that? I'm assuming it's probably the Germans. Yeah, Germany's winning it slightly. I, I'm not going to subsidize them, because I can't afford that. I would still like to send troops over to, to uh, the Congo, though, if that's at all possible. And actually, where does our supply limit end? Life rating of 10... Oh, I don't have a port over here. That is probably something that we need. Yeah, build a port on that side of the world. Also, apparently I just can't train troops over here. Did me making Dixie an unaccepted culture really screw us over? And now I can't build tr Dixie troops anymore? That's eh, fine. I'm sure they're going to be completely A-OK -okay with that. Look at this, look at how big our population is growing. 14,000 in the past day, or the past month, I should say. We're getting 3,000 immigrants a month, more than basically everybody else, because, you know, the United States is great. And hopefully, oh, wait. Why are you farmers? How are they mobilized troops? Doesn't, what? If they're mobilized, they should not be... They shouldn't be... What's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? They can't be engineers if you're mobilized. Mobilized troops are just pure... Infantry, so I don't... I don't know. How are you like this? Apparently also, um... Apparently these guys actually can't stay here anymore. Is everybody else okay, though? You guys are okay up here? You guys need some more infantry and stuff. Can I build even any infantry? I can! That's nice. Is it build... We had two. So we need this. We're gonna build an engineer, build a dragoon there, and then we'll build more cannons afterwards. And they all do rally to New York. Yes, fantastic. And apparently we can only build troops over here. Everywhere else in the United States, Really doesn't provide anything for the army. Argentina, who are you at war with? You're at war Paraguay? Sure, I don't really, um... I don't care about Paraguay. And I'm assuming we're actually the war leader now, right? Like, we get to say what we want against Paraguay? Fantastic. So if I wanted to add a war goal to annex Paraguay, I technically could. They're probably not going to. But we're down to 14.1 infamy. I would like to take over um, Panama, if at all possible, and try to take as much land. Because, I, like I said, I think I said in the last episode, 
I do still want to try to annex the entirety of North and South America. You know, that's still kind of the plan. Is this really not... Did they beat the rebels or did the rebels just like basically stand down? They do that sometimes. Are you rally? You're not rally points. I don't know why your frigates aren't going to uh, here. Why was all of our ships? Oh yes. Okay, so we have a, we have a thing over there as well. So I'm assuming. Yeah, no, we we can't. Basically, here we don't have any supply. Does does military access give us supply? Does that give us supply range? It doesn't actually, because that's a little bit annoying. Do we have a port? We don't. I'm just forgetting ports everywhere. So let's go to our, let's go to here. Upgrade our ports where we can. It costs a stupid amount of money to do so, but build the ports over here in the Pacific. We still have Hawaii too. I need to sphere Hawaii at some point. Also, apparently we're not um. We're not a great power anymore. Austria Hungary's at 316. We're at 261. How did everybody get so many points? Did I lose a lot of points or or what? I'm not too sure, honestly. And how's how's Hungary? They just lost a war against the Italians. I don't understand how they were a great power at all, but sure, whatever. And there we go. Hey, look at Germany. The Treaty of Frankfurt. The Treaty of Frankfurt was signed in Frankfurt in 1870, the end of the German Franco War. It established borders. Did they not do that in Versailles? I guess not. I thought they did it in Versailles, though. Yeah, but Germany exists now, so that's good. Hey, Germany, how are you? Apparently, it also can attack the Russians for some reason. I'm not too sure why. But that's good. Will that give me more immigration, though? Maybe? No, Germany's not even show up in the list. Apparently, people love Germany. They do not want to leave. Unless you're going somewhere else? No. They just don't want to leave Germany. I don't even know why. Like, why, why would you want to be in Germany when you could be, you know, in the United States? The greatest country on Earth. Except for, you know, the whole... The country completely collapsed for a bit, but that's fine. Don't worry about that part. So, Paraguay... Liberate. Oh, we can't. We can't even annex them. That's disappointing. Cut down the size. Humiliate. Really, no reason for me to do any of those. But we actually have enough. Um, infamy. We have enough infamy um, to basically start fabricating on the Colombians. I'm not going to do that until I know for sure we're not going to get caught. Because I don't want to be in a situation where I just get attacked by 15 different countries all at the same time. Clearly, that has not worked out in the past. So I have exactly enough. That I could fabricate my claim against Colombia and not have to worry about just straight up dying. And that's always a, you know, in that positive. Apparently, we don't have any canned food. We're not buying canned food? Who's, make, who's making canned food? Probably not a lot of people. 10.6. Why do I get caught immediately every single goddamn time? Every time, it's just boom. Everybody already knows. It is a little bit annoying, but I do want Colombia. I do want Panama. So there we go. We're finished that war. So that means this should dip down, you know, a little bit faster. 0.09. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. There we go. We have a state. Remove our focus here. Uh, we probably need to, like, start getting our troops, you know, back to where they need to be. So how about we start getting our encouraging some soldiers. Quebec can actually start building some troops now as well. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to build like two cannons. Up here in Quebec. None of this is actually cord yet, which is a little bit annoying, but... And now hopefully with the war being over again, we're going to get a lot of immigration. Not Still not a lot from Germany. Apparently the Germans just do not want to leave. It would be nice if they did. I would like to take over the rise of the KKK. That seems uh, pretty bad. That seems that seems pretty much awful. Uh, Trail of Tears, reform local government. 
Are any of these, like, good? Ever since colonization of the United States of America, natives have been neglected. Or... Yeah, relegated. Not, re not neglected, because that's not a word. I think, you know what, native status... Well, do that. Trade of the tears. No, that still seems like it's bad. Lose five MP. That seems pretty much good. I don't. Want to, I don't want to gain any. Why can't I do this? Nay, pop. One of the following must be true. For all the core problems done by knights. Up. Oh, don't press that. Hey, Pop. I don't, I don't know why I can't do th this. I mean, losing five of me would be fantastic. For all... is not a colonial state. Any Pop... is primary culture. I don't really... I guess we'll close it, because I really don't know... What it's asking me? Maybe I'm just a little bit dumb? I'm not too sure. Anyway. If someone, if someone wanna leave in the comments what exactly that was asking me to do. Is it saying that because I own provinces that I don't... That the primary culture isn't... Like the primary culture in like American Columbia for example isn't Yankee. It's... I can't do it. Especially since I own, you know, like Uruguay. I'm guessing that's just never going to happen. Why is it? There's a lot of North Italians in Northern Texas. Actually, that's in Oklahoma, but whatever. It's like how there's a lot of people who are like, um... Who are like Irish somewhere over here. I'm not too sure where. But how many people are here are like Yankee? Is anybody in like Alabama Yankee? 1.1%. 1. 1. 1 not a lot. And how much? No current simulation. No current simulation. Nobody should assume- everybody should become a Yankee! And if you don't want to become a Yankee, there's absolutely just something straight up wrong with you, because why would you not want to be a Yankee? And why am I spending all this money on, uh, military stuff? That's a good question. Don't even- Was I wasting all this money this entire time for absolutely no reason? Probably! But there we go, let's start getting our money back up. I still want- I want Panama- like, where is the Panama Canal decision? Offered by Cuba. It doesn't actually this doesn't show up. Maybe when we take Panama ourselves it'll show up. We have a six stack here. One thing, Columbia only has a three stack, so if we send down You know, fifteen thousand men. Don't go into the open ocean, because I know that basically just kills you. We'll send our ships down there. Uh, we got some Jackman Rebels in the Empire of Mexico. It looks like the Mexican army. Apparently the Mexican army is on the other side of the country, so who knows what they're doing. And how much longer for this CB to be done? 133 days. So we're getting there, but it is taking a little bit of time. And I'm still I'm still amazed that we're in ninth place. I really feel like we, like we won the Civil War. Kind of, I mean... It, it was a second Civil War, depending on how you want to look at it. But... I really, I really feel like we should, uh, we should be great power by now. Is it Aust like, Austria's just a lot further ahead than we are. You know, like 40 points ahead of us. Apparently we're about to be in the British sphere. Really, we're not actually, we're not big enough to be considered unspherable. Opposed, opposed, opposed. What the, the absolute... Humiliation. The Great Chicago Fire. Oh, that's... Lose 25 pounds. Apparently that apparently doesn't really matter at all. But, uh... That's a bit insulting, don't you think? I mean, they... Oh, they have cores on, like, half of our country. Why? They have cores on all of this land? Oh, so they're actually never going... Because they have cores on us, they're actually never going to sphere us directly? I didn't know they had cores on all of this. 
No, we might have cores on all of our land. Why do we have... A good question I actually have to ask myself is why do I have 60,000 men on the uh, Mexican border? When they should absolutely be on the... Um, you know, the border with uh, the British. That would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? We'll keep, like, one stack down here, but we should have most of our army up here in, like... Like, they have a 33 stack in Newfoundland, and they have a 48 stack in New Brunswick. I don't trust these British. I don't trust them for a second. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.